Bill Burr, Dave Chappelle, woke culture. Let's go. You like comedy, baby? Love comedy. Me too. Let's go. It's hard not to write these jokes. It's hard not to think about. Even when I watch sports, I be thinking about. Like, like, think about. Okay, okay. Say, say LeBron James uh, changed his gender. You know what I mean? Okay. Can he stay in the NBA or because he's a woman? Does he have to go to the WNBA where he will score 840 points a game? <laughs> what does it actually mean to be equal? You know what I mean? Like, if women are actually equal to men, then there would be no WNBA, would there? Mm. You would just be good enough to play in the NBA with us. Mm. Or... Here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies. I just, I got a fucking Me Too headache. Y'all is killing me right now. It's really fucking tough to watch what's going on. You know, ladies, I said it in my last special, and I got in a lot of trouble for this. I told you you were right going to work. But I'm biased. I said it. Louis C.K. was a very good friend of mine before he died in that terrible masturbation accident. Oh, man. <laughs> and it was his room. You read the story. He was masturbating in his own room. That's where he's supposed to masturbate. And then he said, hey, everybody, I'm going to pull my dick out. Nobody ran for the door or nothing like that. They all just kind of hung out like, I wonder if this guy is serious. <laughs> and he came on his own stomach. There it is. What is the threat? Have any women ever seen a guy that just came on his own stomach? This is the least threatening motherfucker the <laughs> earth has ever seen. All you see is shame in their face and... Come dripping down like pancake butter. Uh. <laughs> he didn't do anything that you can call the police for. I dare to try. Call the police on him. Hello, police. Yes, I am. I am on the other line with comedian Louis C.K. And I think that he is masturbating while I'm on the phone. You know what the police are going to say in Atlanta? Well, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> said police in Atlanta. They ruined this nigga's life, and now he's coming back playing comedy clubs, and they acting like if he's able to do that, that's going to hurt women. What the fuck is your agenda, ladies? Is, is sexism dead? No. In fact, the opposite happened. I said it was going to get worse, and they said I was tone deaf. But eight states, including your state, have passed the most stringent anti-abortion laws this nation has seen since Roe v. Wade. I don't know. I rented that movie, uh, Pride, recently. Have you guys seen that movie? No. Anybody see that? It's about the first all-black swim team and the difficulties they had to go through being the first all-black swim team. Let me ask you a question. How many of those white people are evil movies are they going to make? <laughs> it's, like it's all the way down to swimming. <laughs> starting to run out of white guilt, you know? No, it's like those movies, they started off unbelievable. Started off with roots, right? White guilt was at an all time high. I could barely even watch it. Dude, I got it. My ancestors are evil. Okay, please turn the channel. Turn, please turn the channel. They still hit them. Fuck, turn the channel. Turn. This is going to be on all week. Jesus Christ, turn the channel. Yo, all week. Uh, Roots, Black Roots History Marathon. Marathon. <laughs> then like Cuba Gooding, want to be like a scuba diver. Remember that show? Oh, yeah. And I now know. it's all the way down to swimming. And I got to admit, I don't think I give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's a recreational activity. <laughs> Closet. I've been in pools. Look, been we tired of slavery movies, too. Right. Okay? Yeah, we exactly. don't have this conversation. Like, I want to see some movies about something else uh, something else other than us being slaves because our history uh involves so much more than slavery right so maybe doing a, about like black inventors and stuff other than madam cj walker because <laughs> yeah. she was a thief um but anyway <laughs>
people in the pool, you know? I never saw any white guy, like, trying to, like, fucking, like, prevent people. <laughs> I can't even swim. Are you just, like, making this shit up? I'm not, I'm not being a dick here either, okay? Just to clarify, you know, I just want to... Anybody coming up to me after the show line, you know, I was thinking it, and then you fucking said it. And then... <laughs> I'm not saying <laughs> people should be allowed to put on some Speedos and go for a dip. I'm not saying that shit. I'm just saying <laughs> these movies, like the characters aren't even believable. Like they always have to have like that, the, the over-the-top, uninhibited white racist character, you know? You know that guy? He's the guy like, uh, he's supposed to represent all the white evil, you know? <laughs> he's like the dude they always have, like, screaming during the movie trailer. They'd be like, they were the first all-black swim team. Get out of the pool! <laughs> vein in his forehead. Just screaming shit. Look, not even looking around, you know? This must dude, have been ridiculous. before no the Karens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's subtle. People look around first. Make sure that... You know, to make sure the coast is clear. There's disclaimers. Like, dude, you know I'm not racist, but uh, these insert group name followed by fucked up conversation, right? That's how it goes down. Not just some guy just standing up there. I think I was in the pool. Do you approve of this? I work at the bank. Could I be fired immediately, please? <laughs> but the honest thing is, those movies, they're starting to give me a complex. You know, because anytime they do a movie about a group of people that thinks dumb shit about another group of people, it's always like white dudes. So it's like, are white dudes the only ones who think ignorant shit about other people? You know? No Mexican guy ever walked up to somebody from India like, dude, what the fuck is that? Is that what you're fuck you? What is it? White dudes the only ones walking around. Well, you guys don't eat cows? What are you a bunch of fags? Well, then why are you wearing sandals? You guys wearing sandals. You guys are fags. <laughs> I know they came no, for him saying, on that you know, one. Just balance the movies out a little bit. Like, just have some of the evil shit that black people say about white people, you know, when, when we're not around, you know? Like, like, well, what are some good examples, you know? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> what are some of the classics? You know, what smell like wet dogs? <laughs> You got headlights or something like that. Just, <laughs> just slip some of that shit in there. Get out of the pool. Wash your hair, motherfucker. <laughs> Make it seem a little more. <laughs> Dude, I'm just saying, it's all the way down to swimming. I mean, where the fuck do you go from there? We do like ping pong. They were the first all black ping pong team. They're going to steal the paddles. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not saying. Uh, I don't know. It's always just weird bringing this shit up. But no, I'm not saying white people aren't evil either. Because I, I know we're evil. I got the evil in me. I do like that so I can feel it. That's why I try to suppress it. Hell no. Nah. I try to dress casual. You know what I mean? I'm serious, man. I tried a suit on the other day. I felt it coming up. Like, fuck, man. I want to take over some shit. Right? I'm going to start telling people what to do. I'm going to go blue to lake, blaming on my secretary, you know? Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, I don't like those movies when they make black and white people get along, man. Even those ones seem ridiculous, you know? Because there always has to be, like, some sort of lesson in those movies. Just like, you know, I never looked at it that way. <laughs> and it's like that never happens, you know? Anytime I've ever hung out with a black dude, at no point during the evening has he, like, tried to, like, teach me how to dance, you know? <laughs> you know that interracial footloose moment they always have to have in those movies? And I never go to his neighborhood and, like, try to, like, save a school, you know? <laughs> how many times are they going to make that movie? You know that movie? The white person goes into the Gates projects. Paradise. They just have oh, to make a difference. Yeah. Dangerous <laughs> mind. Dangerous mind. Dangerous you know, mind. They just made that movie again with, uh, what was it, Hilary Swank? It's like, did you even need to go see it? It's like, let me guess. She shows up and they don't accept her, right? <laughs> she goes home, she cries to her effeminate boyfriend who's wearing sweatpants and he's cooking something for some reason, right? <laughs> and he Hell no. Her, he convinces her to give her one more chance, right? So then she goes back down there, she starts drawing out their inner beauty. Next thing you know, they put a do-rag on her, she starts fucking dancing. <laughs> and it's just embarrassing for all races. 
Stop making that fucking movie. Dude, the amount of times they made that movie, I would think I would know somebody white who actually did that shit. You know? Yes, yeah, Mike. Yeah, he saves ghettos. That's what he does. You know? <laughs> I sit around. I watch Sports Center. You know, he's in the projects every weekend. He's writing his name on the blackboard. My name's Mr. Michael. All right, who threw that? Who threw that? It's just annoying after a while, you know. And it always fucking works out too. Anytime the white person goes down there, I want to make that. I want to see a movie where it doesn't work out. Like the white dude goes down in the first day, just gets the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> Leaving all negative. You can't fucking help me. Try to do something nice. Right. You're gonna goddamn word it. This is three and all prescriptions. <laughs> oh. Feeling lonely That's and looking fault, for a baby. significant <laughs> someone. <laughs> like a commercial. So what do you think so far? No, I think it's funny. I think Bill Burr. He uh, he gives uh, a, a very funny and realistic, somewhat realistic perspective to a yeah. lot of things. Um, and it really, it, it's funny to me how I went so long and just never knew who he was. I mean, I didn't know who he was either. He no. It wasn't like he was on Comic View or anything like that. No, he, well, he wasn't on Comic <laughs> View, but he was a writer for The Chappelle Show. Oh, and so, I didn't know and that. So, we kind of indirectly heard, heard his yeah, material, his style, right? His style yeah. through Dave Chappelle, and so awesome. yeah, and so I do want to do some more Bill Burr reactions yeah. uh, because I, I I would like to familiarize myself yeah. with his style. I mean, he's great. He's really really good. Well, I thought this stand up was really relatable yeah. because we say some of the same things. Like we get tired of watching movies yeah. where. You know, white people are saving us. Yeah, right. <laughs> you slave know, movies. Or the slave movies. Yeah, all that, all that stuff. And, and even movies that are somewhat divisive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just, he's, I, I thought it was funny how yeah. it was done. Right, yeah. And he's basically saying, make it make sense. <laughs> well, yeah. And so sometimes we need to laugh about this stuff because yeah. sometimes it gets so tiresome. Yeah. Talking about all this stuff. And it's just good to laugh sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I agree with you. So, guys, of course, uh, <laughs> like this video, subscribe to the channel, and request some more specials for Bill, Bur Bill Burr. What would be some good stand-up performances that my wife and I could react to? Uh, let us know down below in the comment section. Anyway, we'll see you all next time. Peace. Okay.